Hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals. Another episode of Seven Days to Die is kicking off. Uh, this game doesn't cease to amaze me. I'll say that. Um, I, I don't know how to say it, so I'm just going to blurt it out. Uh, we found a breach, and I'm going to deal with it <laughs> very quickly. I'm just trying to get a couple things squared away here. Uh, cash. Uh, arrowheads go in there. Uh, this goes there. This goes there. Scrap, scrap. Okay. I need to figure out what I want to do with a big freaking gaping hole in my base. Um, these jerks are crafty. I'm not gonna, not gonna two ways about it. Um, I'll take that. This is a problem. <laughs> this is a very big problem. <clears throat> considering they broke through the first layer of my defense, which was expected. It wasn't unexpected. That's why I layered the defenses in such a manner that I did. Can they actually walk through this way too? Oh, uh, okay. So here's the plan with this. <laughs> did I just literally place it under me? Awesome. I'm the best. Uh, this is going to be at least a deterrent. And then what I want to do is I want to do something like this. Yep, right there. And any nook and cranny, this stuff can fit. Okay. Now we at least have a seal. It's not a very good one, but it's a seal all the same. I'm going to add more spikes, another wall, like something that's really going to slow them down. I'm hoping the pathing is actually going to kick in. They're going to be like, nah, bro, we're not going to do that. Um, we'll have to see, though. Nothing's stopping them from building another tunnel. Well, they're not really building. They're just being jerks and just burrowing through my stuff. Okay. And uh, I need more spikes. Badly. Thank goodness I have a crap ton of lumber on me. Uh, 80 would be perfect. Thank you much. Now, I could take this all the way back. I don't know if I'm going to, though. Uh, with triple spikes like this. Um, I am going to at least do something. I'm, I'm at least going to do a bit more, at least. Uh, and then another concrete thing. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I guess nothing's really stopping them from just destroying the spikes anyhow, but this at least patches up the hole. Okay, that's one patch. Now there's another hole I have over here, which is another pile of problems entirely. This gives them literally two ways to get into my base. Not super thrilled about it at all. Um, we're gonna do this instead. And one more layer. Okay, and I can't double this up, right? It's just this, okay. Lumber is cheap. We are we are good on lumber. Lumber's no problem. So getting this like this is going to be a little lengthy. A little bit of time consumption, but uh, not super thrilled with what's transpired at all. Uh, I don't know if the pathing is smart. I, I don't know if I want to give the zombies credit. Like, oh, we couldn't figure out a way around his base. We went through it. Like, I don't know if it's that or if it's just a... They just hit a ledge somewhere, and they're like, meh, fudge it. We'll just go through. I don't know if that's it either. Um, so we're just going to do this some more. I'm out of mix. Awesome. Well, I might as well take that back. Um, uh, wood frames. That's what I want. Uh, how about 20? Skip that for a second. Yeah, I can get the I can get everything else done way faster than spikes. Let's do that. I just want something here. I really don't care what it is. There we go. I had to be getting close, right? Oops, come on now. There we go. 
Am I close? Am I even remotely close to base? Wow, this was a trek. Yeah, wow, okay. Um, we're gonna do at least a bit more. Then I'm gonna seal up the floor itself. Uh, I don't know, another eight. And then seal it up. Yeah, they will find all kinds of funny ways to get into your base. This is actually another thing that I was hoping I didn't have to touch on, was height. Um, building your base in a lower area is smarter than a higher area because this is what happened. They literally found a hill, stopped trying to go around it, and went through it. Uh, I'm going to chalk it up and say the AI pathing is just stupid. It was just like, here we go. <clears throat> As opposed to, you know, drawing up a tactical map and battle plan and be like, well, I think if we siege the enemy from the bottom, we could... Uh, bra -ba -da -ba. I don't think any of that happened. I think it was just, hey, things were going in this direction. Okay, that's better. That's a lot better. Um, here, um, I want to get out first. Okay. Uh, okay. You know, at a minimum, they could have at least unburied some treasure for me. That would have been cool. But no! And be real jerkbags about the thing. Okay. Uh, that's good. That's good. That's, uh, good. Uh, is this ideal? Absolutely not. Is it what I got right now and I gotta deal with it? Yeah. Um, I didn't think too hard here. There we go. Man, this took them a long time to do. This stuff is... Asphalt or whatever? 1,500 health. Okay. We good-ish? Kind of? Ugh. I didn't have enough concrete mix to finish the job either. Just yuck. Yuck on a side of yuck. But, uh, whatever. We'll get it. Again, another reason why we got two layers. A layer on the inside and a layer on the outside. So when they finally get bored of the outside layer, they'll figure out how to get in. Speaking of getting in, I want to take a quick walk around the outside, make sure all this stuff looks good. Okay, how, how did those get damaged? Was that one damaged? Uh, it wasn't. Now it super isn't damaged. It's the reverse of damaged. It's upgraded. Hooray. Okay, that looks good. Now, I've got a bunch of work to do somewhere over here, don't I? Oh, yeah, I do. Oh. Yep. This game ramps up, I'll tell you. Uh, it also probably doesn't help I'm level 79 or whatever. I'm sure that is adding to the difficulty rating. Excuse me, this is a no parking zone. You're gonna have to move your body. I know I have a bit more to do in that corner, but I'm not going to get to it yet. I want to do a one a once walkthrough first. Okay. Yep, this is what I wanted to clear out. Just get out of here. Oh! Oh, he's a biggin'. He's a biggin'. And he's a sprintin'. Okay. Yep, go over the spikes. Go for it. And I'm infected. Excellent. Come on, fat boy. You and I are going to the prom. Okay. These heavy ones are freaking terrifying when they sprint. 
They move just as fast as the smaller ones, and they take a lot of freaking hits. Just like that, see? Ugh, thanks for nothing. Okay. I'm gonna head back a little bit here. I wanna take some antibiotics. Um, I wanna heal a little bit. So I'm just gonna get a little closer to the front door. That's one thing that drives me nuts about zombie games. Um, also, The Walking Dead, for example. There are so many times where zombies in that show make a ton of noise, and it's like anyone with ears could could hear it. And there's other times where zombies just, oh, there's a whole mob of them, and we had no idea. Like, I'm not saying, like, they all have to make noise all the time, and it all has to always be obvious, but... You think, you think if you're just really bloodlust, and you're just really trying to get that human, get their brains, get their blood, get their what, just kill, frenzy, whatever. I don't think I, if I was in that situation, uh, as a person, not a zombie, but trying to think of as one, um, I don't think I'd ever be in the composure to not be quiet, <laughs> uh, or to not be loud. I would just be just screaming, rah, 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 all the time, right? Especially if I found dinner. Like, I would... How often do zombies get to eat? I'm sure it's not three squares a day, right? Um, each game, each each movie, each everything has their own interpretation of what that means. Uh, Day of the Dead is really, like, my go-to idea. When someone says zombie, I think of a humanoid that will use every muscle in their body to kill me if I'm a survivor. Like, that kind of a situation. So there should be screaming, gnarly, gnashing of teeth. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like it should be a bloodbath of frenzy. That's that's my interpretation. So the thing is, it's always annoying that in some cases like this too, where the zombies are just quiet. It's like that's not how is that even? Uh, oh yeah, I do want the hoe and the fertilizer. I can go there. Scrap. Um, I'm done with the auger because I have no more concrete mix. Uh, where did I put the fertilizer? There it is. Very good. Gonna harvest all the stuff. Uh, okay, weird glitch. There we go. Chrysanthemum, we got hops. Yeah, we're done with chrysanthemums for a while. That's the nice thing of securing this big of a plot this early up here also, is because even if I lose the outer wall, I still have a way to produce food. Albeit if it's corn, meal, and water, I think I can make some I think I can make uh corn corn pies? Corn hold on. Cornbread. There we go. I can make cornbread with corn meal and water. I mean I can survive alright. The thing is uh, it's not good food, like it's not particularly wholesome, but the bigger thing is, is I can survive up here. That's why I wanted an up here base. Okay, that's all done. I'm gonna go harvest out the... That looks done to me. And push. Yep, not even having to jump. Yep. Uh, bandage, yes please. Man, I can't wait to figure out how much this is. Okay. 146. Excellent. Recipe. Another... 120. Uh, 200 chrysanthemum. That's great. While that's happening, I'm gonna go play knife with this guy. Nope. Yep. Okay. This is all going to be hops. 
Uh, I have no idea what, what I'm gonna do upstairs. Maybe more aloe? I've got like 40 some odd bandages though, so I'm not hurting for bandage. And that stuff's not really a good money maker anyway. Ugh. More cement mix so badly. There, that's better. Yeah, walking backward is way easier to play stuff. If you walk forward, see how it keeps collisioning over other stuff? When I was doing it this way, too, it was collisioning on other stuff as well. Uh, so backtracking in a straight line is always the best way to plant crops, in my opinion. Uh, come on now. Come on, then. <laughs> I have to place literally one or two more of you, and then I could... Thank you. Holy cow. Could you make this a little more aggravating? That would be super. Now, the zombies, from what I understand, won't go for the crops, like, instinctively. Like, it's not a... they're totally just aiming for the crops. What they are gonna do is trample over it, however. If they're in the way, they're in the way. Like, that, that's all there is to it. I'm not lined up properly. Now, these boxes, these planting boxes are also kind of weird. Oh, come on now. There we go. Oh, day 33, we should have some serious beer going on. And if it's anything worth selling, it'll be worth selling. Um, I should really figure out the price of beer. I'm not really willing to sell my other crops, though. So beer seems to be something that is just... I wouldn't mind a few on hand for the buzz and the extra stamina. Um, especially if I'm going... Um, treasure hunting. That would be good. Holy crap, was that all 120? Ha! Huh, show sure enough it was. Okay, we're doing this again. I'll plant them upstairs. Uh, let's go ahead and check on all our stuff. Everything's repaired. The hole in the bottom of our base is at least filled in. It's at least better, right? <laughs> That's, some, that's something. That's not nothing. That's something. Um, okay. That, that, that. That. And chrysanthemum for days. Excellent. I'm not gonna plant cotton. Cotton is only used for cloth. Um, what else? What else would I really want? Um, I have enough stuff we can make first aid kits. Uh, recipes. Green alcohol, bandage, duct tape. Uh, I'm actually low on duct tape, aren't I? Oh, I got plenty of glue. Let's do that. Um, I want 15. Because the only thing else this is used for is, like, crossbow? Uh, the blunderbuss I'm not really super interested in. Uh, so 15 of this and some cloth. Okay, so six, six, um, what else did I need? Oh, grain alcohol, uh, which I already have. And what else? I forgot already. Uh, bandage, right, that's easy to make. I think it's just cloth. Recipes. Bandage. There we go. I should actually start raiding some houses and getting more cloth. Um, okay. So there's our six bandages. We can give me first aid kits, and that's made in the chemistry station. Yep, yep. Um, also, I read a point where I could do antibiotics. If I'm going to make a run over there, might as well get it really set up, right? Uh, nitrate powder, bottled murky, okay. There's that. 
Um, also... I think I burnt through all our poops to make fertilizer before. That looks right. I don't see any poops. Cool. Okay. Uh, let's grab all that sweet iron out of there. How much iron am I actually sitting on? Not, a, well, what I got, so 10,000, so that's not too bad. Um, okay, I'm going to make a run to the strip club. Dump this in. Then I'm going to come back home, hopefully getting a bunch of cement, and we're going to make a run to the shop. Um, I want to give it a little more time, so that's why. this is It's a quick run to the strip joint anyway. We yeah, running over crops on a mountain bike or a dirt bike or whatever doesn't do a darn thing. Oh, I forgot to take uh, antibiotics. <laughs> Shoot, we'll do that when we get back. Okay, it is technically day 30. Empty damaged. Okay, probably it's 30 days after uh, I raided it, which makes the most sense. Because if that wasn't the case, you could go to a town on day 29. What the heck? Okay, uh, you could go to a town on day 29, pillage it completely, and then day 30 it would reset. Um, I want antibiotics. You need three minutes worth. There you go. First aid kit, you need 20 seconds worth. Uh, okay, great. That'll be done today. Perfect. Uh, empty, empty, yep. As one would expect. Okay. Head home, antibiotics, uh, plant the hops upstairs. I don't think there's anything really I'm hurting for planting. I'm not gonna dink around too much on planting stuff either. Now, I think I mentioned this before in earlier episodes, but I'll mention it again anyway. The main reason why I keep running away from home is because everywhere I'm at, I generate heat. I generate heat just existing. I'm not saying human heat, it's the, again, uh, how much do the zombies want to kill me? That indication is, is regarded as heat. Um, candles and torches provide heat. Your machines generate heat. Um, big metal doors, certain fortifications all generate a form of heat. Now, it's kind of a, a cyclical thing because... You're generating heat by building defense. You need to build defense to defend yourself. And the thing is, like, the cycle just keeps going. As you're teching up as a player, and not just your, your character level, but, like, as you're getting new machines, new devices, new tools, that kind of a thing, uh, the heat number goes up faster. So that means more scouting parties. We're going to be engaged more often by the enemy. Uh, that's just going to happen. So... Me being here is generating heat. Even if I sit in the corner and do absolutely nothing, that's still generating heat. So, I always like to, you know, running to the shops and stuff has always been a good thing in my opinion. Uh, use. I'm sure I'm hungry at this point. Yep, eat. And let's drink a little. And red tea, so I get the cool effect. Are. Feathers can go there. I don't need this anymore. Okay, do I have anything to sell? No. And I don't really have any money either. So that's okay. Not gonna worry about it. <laughs> I've got five status things on me right now. Cool drink, healing because I ate. Warm meal because I ate the beef stew. Uh, antibiotics, and I'm overheating. So there we go. And then I only got one wellness point from the beef stew, but that's okay. That's still pretty good. Oh, I forgot all the freaking mixes. Shoot. <laughs> I forgot all the cement. Ah... You think I've done this enough. You think I would just know what's going on, right? 
Now, there is another thing that I wanted to discuss and kind of figure out if it's for another player, if this is just my idea, or like, whatever. Like, maybe this isn't for everybody, but we have our main base. This is main HQ. This is Clunky Oil Co. HQ. Uh, the thing that uh, always crosses my mind is what if you had, like, a vacation home, quote-unquote, or, like, a sub-base. <clears throat> like, on the other side of the map, hang out there for, like, a week. Let the heat die down over here. Take down all the candles. Take Shut off the furnace. You know, all that stuff. Like, really see if you could get the, the heat tamped down a bit. And I don't know if there's any benefit to that at all. I, I really don't. But it's just a, it's a neat idea. Instead of having to keep bunkering this down heavier and heavier and heavier, just go somewhere else for a few days and uh, let the heat die down. Now, the way I think of heat, and it wasn't very clear on the wiki when I read it a while ago, was the way I interpreted it is like pollution in Factorio. Um, the resounding environment eventually absorbs pollution. If you shut down your factory 100%, produce nothing, the heat, or I mean the pollution in Factorio would eventually dissipate. So I don't know if this game operates the same way. What I would also assume for this game, to make it a little more accurate, is certain events reduce heat. So let's say, for example, when I'm at my base, I'm producing 5 heat a minute, or whatever. When it hits 1,000 heat, that's when a mob happens. When it hits 2,000 heat, something happens. When it hits what, you know, when it hits all these levels, something happens. When it hits 5,000 heat, the heat resets back to zero, or some, something like that. You know, that that's how it made sense to me, but... I have no idea, really. Um, hello? Take, take, take. Excellent. I have enough for 132 more spots. Let's get out of here. So a vacation home would be really just another place, like an H, a sub-HQ, like I was saying. And we would hang out there for a week or a while or whatever. And the idea behind that is, yeah, just let the heat die down in the main base. Would that work? I have no idea. But the simple fact that I would be somewhere else and not at the base, you know, that, that makes sense to me. Uh, now, to answer your question is probably like, what the crap would we even do there? Well, we could build a very simple farm. Like, you could build a farming area that you don't stay on day 7 or even at night. But you go there, you plant a ton of stuff. And then you just go there every so often and you have, you know, another place to just, uh, hang out, I guess. Um, but of course, if I'm going to be spending a lot of resources defending something, I might as well defend my main base, right? I mean, that makes sense, too. So, I don't know. There's a lot of ways to take an open, an open world crafting game like this and how you want to interpret threats and severity and how you want to figure out what is important you know i don't want to abandon this base at all that's not what i'm saying but what i am saying is maybe we play a little of the heat to our advantage or we at least manipulate it a little bit that's the kind of stuff i think about you know given give me just little tidbits of information how the mechanics of the game work that's how my brain operates so uh, that was a fun run I'm not going to bother screwing with the fertilizer now. Um, I've got rebar now, which is good. Um, what do I want to do? Fortifying the outside was smart. I really want another shotgun turret. Do I have another shotgun? I probably really don't. I don't have another SMG, even. Um, I would have to scrap my shotgun to build a shotgun turret. I'm not cool with that. Um... And I don't have enough money for a shotgun either. Um, okay, anything I want to plant. Maybe that's next. Uh, mushrooms would get us herbal antibiotics, which are cute. Um, let's see. I'm just trying to see if there's anything really worthwhile selling. 400, that's not great. 425, not great. First aid kits are kind of cute. I could dump some antibiotics, but I'd really rather not. Um, 
Yeah, that's not super either. Was this 250 per one? Huh. Uh, yucca fruit does sell, but no one will buy it. I don't. I don't know why it says base price, then not a dollar figure. Uh, bum, 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 bum. I kind of went through everything here, didn't I? Yeah, I kind of sold down pretty hard. Okay, we're gonna head over to the strip joint and get our stuff. It should be done by now. Uh, sell that. Goes in there, that goes there. Ah, <sighs> okay. I think it was three minutes and 30 seconds or something. Uh, once that's done, come on, dude. Um, I don't have any more poops, so I can't make more fertilizer. I don't really think there's anything else I need it for. Um,. The chemistry station's really good for making bullets, or gunpowder, anyway, but I think with all the buckshot I bought, or the shotgun ammunition, I should say, I don't think I'm really in need of any of that stuff. I'm really amazed I haven't come across at least one or two bad dudes in here. Uh, three antibiotics, one first aid. Oh, you ran out of stuff. Thought I had that dialed in, my bad. Um, yeah, I'll just wait. I can't wait till all this stuff is searchable again. It's gonna be awesome. Or plastic parts. What is this? Just metal? Okay. Got a few minutes to kill? Why not, right? Uh, this is something, isn't it? Electric components. <laughs> yeah, not bad. Don't know if it was worth it, but not bad. Don't mind me, just cleaning out all the TVs. I'm not too sure what plastic parts are for. I think crossbows, maybe? Scrap plastics. Oh, battery bank. Flashlight, mining helmet, that's actually good stuff. Um, okay. That's all of it? Nope. I lied. Cool. Good to get some odds and ends that I would not have gotten otherwise. Is there TVs in the bathroom? I can't remember. Nope. Same thing? Nope. Okay. And I'll take that. Thank you very much. Uh, you could just shut off and save the eight seconds. Cool! Very worth it. On day sevens, when they get a little more severe, that's when I'll just have first aid kits. I won't even bother with, uh, the medical bandages. I'll just have straight up first aid kits because when I need health, I need it immediately. I can't wait the 20 seconds or whatever to get healed up. Ooh, oil and brass bullet casings. Excellent. One of the things that we're also missing, too, which would be really cool to get, is a blood draw kit. That would be awesome. That will allow us to make blood bags on the fly. Um, not at no charge, but better. Like, you, you can make them. You literally draw the blood from yourself, 
don't do it too often or you'll lose wellness. So once a day, once every other day, uh, maybe twice every other day, which would be once a day. <laughs> uh, you can go ahead and just use that and uh, it'll give you a blood bag. You'll take a little bit of wellness hit or not wellness, but health, hit, a health hit because you're drawing blood from yourself, obviously, but you can just use the regular bandages and patch that right up. Oil, sand. I don't feel that I'll ever need to go for sand for quite some time. Um, I wouldn't mind clay up here. That looks better. Oh, uh, plastic. Hang on. There we go. There we go. Cool. I am going to take a break right here. I think this is good for an episode. Day 30, hitting the noon hour. Thank you all for joining me. My name is John Megacycle, and I hope to catch you next time.